I got a phone call last night from one of my sister's friends and she goes, there was a giant snake here. Look at that hole. Oh, he got, he, he went in. I'm ready to get in there. I'm gonna go inside of this layer now. He's wrapped me around the arm. No God. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. We are about to break 200,000 subscribers. Probably by the time this video is uploaded, I will have broken 200,000 subscribers. Guys, thank you so much. That is 200,000 people looking at my channel. Crazy, it's absolutely crazy. But guys, we are back at the canal where we were trying to feed the iguanas. I got a phone call last night from one of my sister's friends and she goes, there was a giant snake here because the movies is actually right there. The back entrance to the movie theater is right there and everyone likes to park there. And she said she was coming out and as she was driving out, you know, right on the grass right there, there was a, she said like a 20 foot snake, you know, I don't believe it's 20 feet because everyone likes to exaggerate. You know, people will call me be like, there's a 10 foot snake at my house. I go there, it's like a little five inch snake. So people exaggerate, but she said it was a big brown snake that was 20 feet. So I'm thinking maybe it's, you know, 10 feet, 12 feet. I really don't know. I'm hoping we can find this snake because if you guys remember from the last video, there is actually like a little layer, a burrow there from the iguanas. But, you know, that could very, very well, you know, hold a snake. So before we start our search for this snake, I want to show you guys a little bit of the footage last night. When she called me, you know, I rushed over here and I was searching Sadly, I didn't find the snake. I looked in the hole and you know, it goes deep deep in there And I didn't want to get in there by myself because you know, you don't know what is in there So I want to show you that footage right now guys It's like 10 o'clock at night and I just got a phone call from one of my sister's friends You know, she just got out of the movie the back entrance is there and she told me she was on the way out and she saw about a 20 foot snake right here now i don't believe it was 20 feet but i do believe that there was a decent sized snake here because guys if you remember from like two weeks ago we were trying to catch iguanas here and there's a giant layer right here a hole and you know that snake might be here i was hoping it'd still be out but i'm literally by myself and look at that hole it, that's a cave that goes way back in there and it goes all the way over there and you know that snake very well may be in here but guys i'm not going to go in there by myself so i mean all i can do is continue to look around but i'm going to come back in the morning and you know hopefully you know we can find this snake guys how crazy was that footage right there i mean i was here all by myself and i really was not going to get in that cave you know not because i'm scared but because it's dangerous you know you don't know what's in there if there could have been a water moccasin it could be a bunch of things i just didn't want to get in there and possibly get injured by myself but we're going to start searching right here in these trees you know it's the daytime right now it is very very hot outside so the snakes are not going to be out sunning because you know it, the ambient temperature here is like 90 degrees they're going to stay in the shade so this is a really really good spot right here where these snakes could possibly be you know right up in here so i'm going to get down here i think there's a little cave that goes here um oh yeah 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 look at this see exactly what i'm saying look look at this guys there's like a cave that goes back in here okay oh it doesn't go that far there is no snake there but i mean this is prime snake territory i mean in the winter time when i'm hunting these snakes i'll see them inside the brush like this and you'll see just a little part of them you know right up in here but i'm not seeing it here let's check this other side i mean this snake could be anywhere it could be in the water it could be in the hole you know we really don't know yet but we're gonna try and search every place where this snake could possibly be you know right here i think there's another cave Ooh, that goes down quick you know yeah 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 there's another cave right here i think oh yeah look at this look at this hole look at that hole right there look at that hole that hole goes down in there. That looks like a python layer. I don't see him there. You know, I don't want to get too far down because it really doesn't go, you know, all that far down. I mean, this could be another little hole right here. I mean, all right, a little snake right here. Oh, he got, he, he went in. Like, it looked like a little, little tiny water snake went inside this little hole. Man, oh, I missed him. This area right here, that pit seems like the spot because in that pit, it's nice and cool. It has all that area. It's completely covered by grass and it, you know, it goes about 10 feet down and there's not gonna be anything in there to mess with it. Maybe iguanas, but it's probably eating these iguanas. You know, there's actually an iguana pit. Oh, right here, look at this. This is poop. And this looks just like snake poop. Guys, we have a big snake here because this is a, a pretty large snake turd. You know, this could be from a snake that's, you know, seven, eight feet long. I mean, this snake could be anywhere, I mean, 
right down inside of here, there's a, literally a layer for the iguanas that we saw the last time. I mean, it's crazy. I'm not gonna go there because I wanna check inside of this pit right here. Oh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> this was not here last night. This is shed, and this looks like fresh shed. This is its calling card. We have all the signs. We had a witness. We found the poop. We've seen several little caves, but we still have not found this monster snake. You know, I'm gonna check that big hole, but first I wanna check out this very, very small hole. You know, this small hole's right here. He very well could be in here. I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. I can't really even see, but anyways, even if there was, I literally cannot get in there. But the time has come, guys. Oh, look, there's more shit. Look at this. Actually, I think that this is iguana shed, actually. This is iguana shed. The other one was snake shed. You know, they got different textures. The iguana shed is a little bit thicker. But guys, I'm gonna have to get inside of this hole now to go look for this snake. There's a very, very good chance. I mean, the shed was literally leading into that snake's lair. If there's a snake in there, of course. I mean, I, Dad, what do you think? What do you think our chances are getting this snake? I mean, there has to be a big one, so. Slim and none. I mean, well, he could be in there. I mean, that's a perfect spot for him to be hanging spot, out. But he could literally be anywhere here. I mean, he could yeah. be anywhere up along this canal. And I'm a little bit sketched out. You know, I got my shoes off, I got my socks on, and I'm uh, I'm ready to get in there. I'm gonna go inside of this layer now. Oh gosh, I was just. I'm a little bit sketched out. I'm, I hate spiders, and this is like. Oh, I got something in my eye. Guys, this is like spider heaven in here. So, here goes nothing, guys. I'm going in. Oh my God, there's an iguana. Oh my gosh. It's... I mean, this hole literally goes back way, way in there. So I'm gonna have to go in now and I'm gonna have to, you know, dad, pray for me. If I don't see you, I love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap! Guys! Guys! Ooh, ooh. What? There's like What's an eight there? foot there's like an eight foot python in there. Get out of here. Bro, I swear! You're I said, it. No, bro. I'm I'm not. There's an eight foot python in there. I'm gonna have to go get him. He's curled up in the back corner. Oh my gosh! This is insane! Oh my god. He's striking at me. Go! He just missed me. Alright? Careful, you got nowhere to go. Alright, alright, I'm going. Alright, I got him. I got the python. I got him. I got him. Uh, I got him! Uh, he's wrapped me around the arm and he's no biting way. himself. No god! Way. What? Oh my god! <laughs> no alright, alright, this is not funny. Come on, I can't get out. Oh my god. Uh, guys! I got dirt all over me, but guys, I just caught. Probably a eight, yeah. ten foot python in here. This is insane. Oh, he's got me around the arm. All right, the, guys. The things that happen here in Miami are just absolutely insane. I mean, look at him. He's biting himself right now. I can't help that. You know, he'll do that. He's not going to bite himself too much. But just look at his pattern. Look, you can see he's an old. He's an old one. He's got these battle scars on his tail. Look at that. You know, he's probably been battling it out with the iguanas inside of this canal. But this is crazy. I mean, he's for sure eating iguanas and probably, you know, stray cats. There's a lot of stray cats here at this mall. Come on, buddy. Oh my yeah, he's, he's a good six gosh. feet, five, six this feet. Is, I, no, this one's like eight feet. Once you stretch them out, you'd, you'd yeah, be surprised. Be right. You would be surprised, guys. We just caught a Burmese python in a canal cave. I mean, how crazy is that? I mean, look at this snake. Ugh. You know, these snakes, they can be dangerous, but they tire out very, very quickly. I mean, just take a look at them. <laughs> this guy's gotta be like nine feet. Fortunately, this snake right here does have to be humanely euthanized. You know, you can just look at them right here in the face. They are an invasive species. They're not supposed to be here in South Florida. You know, these guys are wrecking havoc on, you know, our environment. Here, he's probably eating all the invasive animals. 
invasive cats and invasive iguanas. So at this spot, you know, it's invasive versus invasive, but everywhere else they're causing horrible, horrible damage to the environment. So we're going to have to humanely euthanize him, you know, but the good part about it is, is all of his skin and everything is going to go to good use. We're going to make products out of it. I have found pythons in the craziest spots and guys, I promise you this is not fake. I'm gonna link some articles down below of pythons have been found in people's houses, under their houses, swimming up their toilets. I mean, these guys are literally everywhere and he's starting to constrict my arm here. He must have just, just shed. You know, he's calm right now. This isn't because he's someone's pet that I put there. This is because these snakes tire out, you know. Whenever you're wrestling big constrictors, you know, they'll put up a good fight for, you know, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes, but then they just mellow out like this. You give them time though, they will bite you. I just want you to see his face right here. I mean, these constrictors are impressive. I hate to euthanize these snakes because I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they are. I mean, it really is terrible, but you know, mankind started this problem, so it's up to us to, you know, manage this problem for our own native wildlife. And I just wanna show you guys, you know, when you show the snake the right respect and also, you know, when it's calmed down that they really are not that scary. So if you look at him, He's not gonna try to bite me right now. You know, he very much so is a wild snake, you know, but he is pretty, you know, calm right now. So guys, that is going to end today's video. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching. You know, I had an absolute blast coming out here and searching and finding this python, you know. It never fails to amaze me where these things may live, you know. So if you guys have not already, I want all of you guys to go give this video a thumbs up Comment down below what you thought of this big old snake. And I want all of you guys, if you have not already, your first time on the channel, please go down below, click that little notification bell, and click the subscribe button.